Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a quick little life update. I just wrapped up my first consulting engagement where I actually found someone on Upwork to do most of the heavy lifting on the project. And I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to talk about three different things. Number one, I wanted to talk about my experience finding analytics talent online and specifically via Upwork. Number two, we can jump into the profit margin that I had for this project, which kind of segues perfectly into the third point, which is this concept called relationship equity. First, let me tell you a little bit about the client so you'll have some context. I met this client because I was giving a talk in my co-working space, which pro tip, that's a great way of finding new leads for your consulting business is to give talks or seminars or lectures on your area of expertise. So this CFO showed up to my talk thinking that he wanted to actually learn Tableau and implement it himself. After about two or three weeks of him trying to learn Tableau, he actually reached back out to me and just said, hey, I'd like to hire you to tackle this one specific project. That project went off without a hitch and it was a huge win. And I've done three or four other consulting engagements with that same company in the year and a half since then. That brings us up to today where I have more consulting leads than I can actually tackle. And I kind of found myself at this weird crossroads where do I turn down leads or do I kind of make things a little messy? And what I mean by that is hiring people is something I didn't really want to ever do but I now have an intern and I'm now subcontracting work out on Upwork. I found myself in a situation where I had more work than I could ever get to. So I had to make a decision. Do I either turn that work down, thus leaving money on the table, or do I decide to hire people and get into the role of managing people and projects? That might sound like a simple decision, but managing people is kind of stressful to me because the worst case scenario is that I hire someone and they do a really bad job, their work reflects bad on me, and then the CFO thinks that I'm not holding my end of the bargain. So there is risk hidden in hiring people. Let me tell you a little bit about my experience hiring someone on Upwork. The way that Upwork works, if you are not exposed to this, is that people looking to get some kind of job done. In this situation, it would be analytics consulting work. They just post and then people from all over the world can bid on these jobs. I actually took a different route. What I did was I searched for freelancers and I was looking for three specific things. Tableau, Power BI, and data modeling experience. I needed all three of those, especially if I'm going to be using this person in an ongoing capacity. So what I did was I typed in Tableau and Power BI into the search bar and I got a list of so many different experts. And the major kind of deciding factor for me is that I found someone that is only an hour away. So if things continue to be really prosperous for my agency, this person could take in-person meetings on behalf of me. So that checked a lot of boxes for me. And this is a little bit atypical, I think, for the average person looking to find a side gig or take up you know, more consulting projects. I think the typical experience is that you bid on a project, that person accepts your bid, and then you work for them. But if you do a really good job of building out your portfolio and make a killer profile, maybe even make a video intro, intro for your profile, that could be a deciding factor in someone reaching out directly to you. It's a marketplace, which is a really interesting concept, and the commodity that's being sold is analytics talent. So if you can market your talent well, then you can get contracts there. I charge 175 an hour. The person I subcontracted to only charged 50. So that means I have $125 worth of profit per hour that this person works. So that is a huge win for me. It's also a huge win for them because $50 an hour is a pretty solid rate. And especially if I'm generating leads for them, that is an all-around win for everyone involved. 
even the CEO, or I should say CFO in this situation, because I'm managing the project and I'm also kind of, I understand the business use case from a high level. Let me kind of frame up an argument as to why this scenario, every single person involved, the CFO, I won, and also the subcontractor won. Because the CFO just wants the project done and they're already agreeing to pay at my 175 an hour rate. So we've kind of got an anchor point there. The subcontractor just wants more work coming through the door and they're willing to work at 50 an hour. And then I am kind of giving, getting that, that leverage or that, that gap in between where I can make a really good profit. But what's kind of the lever that's going on here is this concept of relationship equity. I've worked with the CFO for multiple years now and we've had some huge wins. So he trusts that I'm gonna do a good job and the subcontractor is benefiting from the goodwill that I've built up with this client. So this is kind of where that term from the beginning of the video that I introduced, uh, your network is your net worth. So if you are doing a good job and just killing it, you are building up goodwill, whether you think of it or not. If you've done good job, a good job at your current role, your analytics manager is going to be grateful for that. And that might be an opportunity where, you know, they'll give you a referral or they'll, you know, speak up for you to get some kind of promotion. But if you've done a good job making them look good, they're going to want to give back. And what I've done over the past three years is I've done a lot of work for C-suite executives in a consulting capacity. And what's really neat about this is that I've hit an inflection point where I've done enough good work for enough high level professionals that it's kind of turned to where I don't have to go out and seek work. More work is coming to me than I can actually get to. And that's why we're kind of in this situation right now where I'm subcontracting to people on Upwork. That pretty much wraps up the video. I didn't want to ramble on too long, but make sure that you subscribe or even leave a like or a comment if you found this content interesting or if you even found something questionable. I'm all about facilitating the conversation in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the upcoming videos.